Hey everyone, it's me, the Lucky Baby Reviewer, and it's been a while since I did a bait, a bait video. Um, apologies for the long delay. Uh, well, I don't think it's been that long, but it's been a, it's been like a few weeks. And since then, Jolter's Christmas event has come by, and Babylonia, the Demonic Front, has released. Not only that, we got details on. Japan's 2018's Christmas event. So let's go down list chronological order. So, Jolter. I sort of liked the story. I sort of liked the event. It felt a little bit too grindy, but again, considering like I was get I was trying to get it done before Babylonia came out, I managed to do it. So it's not that bad. But. I like the story. It's sort of like Jolter trying to be special, uh, and then Gil trolling her with the, the, the elixir of youth. Ah, <laughs> uh, kid Gil, you and your shenanigans. This is why we love you and adore you as much as we do your your two older selves. But yeah, it was more or less like I felt like it was so like the Grinch. Mixed with children stuff, like a children Grinch. I don't know. But it was just a good event. We got Ishtar early, and we got, of course, Kotamine. I didn't get either of them, so, meh. It's alright, though. And, um, yeah, that's really all I gotta say. It was a bit grindy, but I liked it. Jolter so far has been a sort of good character, but I haven't been using her much, considering I've been... Of course, I went from the Jolter event, took a few days rest, and then, of course, Babylonia came. <laughs> Alright, so, Babylonia. Honestly, one of the most... The most epics... Epic of, like, this beat Camelot's epicness by a ton. Like, every moment was tense. And even if you knew about Tiamat beforehand... It's it's still like for any like with the mindset of anyone not knowing the the story of Babylon, Babylonia, and not knowing Tiamat, you could honestly assume that yeah, um, Gorgon could easily have been posing as the Tiamat, but we only knew, realized that that wasn't true. And oh, the the second the second half with those new enemies, oh god, they were disgusting. They were horrendous. And it's just such a good. It was just a, it was such a good thing. Every bit of it. King Asan, Ishtar, Merlin, Medusa Lily, Gorgon, Enkidu, Gilgamesh. Every character was good. I did not hate any of them. And it's just such a good story. It was just a good like game, um chapter. With it all coming down to Solomon, that's of course going to be coming out later this month. Because of course, we have to beat him th by the end of this month. This is the last month b before 2018, 2019. Meaning, if we don't beat him soon... Well, apparently, here's, here's how the story goes. As soon as they found out where Solomon is, Solomon found us and now he's pulling us to him. So we, bo we basically uh, have a time crunch to beat him. Before we lose Chaliad, and by extension, we lose the entire race. But oh, I am hyped, considering what's going to happen next. I am so hyped. I am so hyped. Also, in between times, I've actually gone to Tamo Cat's um, tent, tent to pond. Blah. Let me say first that. I got the Tamo Cat to bond tent, so. Yee, I'm happy. I got one of the three Tatamos to bond tent. Only two more until, um, until Tatamovich comes out. And I've done some research. Basically, what I've come, what I've concluded is, the Tatamovich that's been so far enemy. It's not Tatamovich. It's someone who's taking a form, or taking control of her. Because, again, like Tatamo, like here's the thing with Tatamos. They hate Tatama herself, but they're not evil. They're 
per the pieces of the the crystallizations of Tatamo's like different personalities or traits. Cat, that's what. I, actually, hold on. I can show you. Hold on. Let me top up the Tatamo nine. Nine. Okay, and college. Here we go. The last one is called college. It's just what stuff. So, but anyways, the Tatama 9 includes you know, an 8 old we're forming. And of course, this is a big one. the list. We got the Tatama Cat, the Royal Beast, the Tatama. The talented secretary, which of course we'll, she will figure out her crystallization at the end of it. We still have two unknowns. Now, I imagine possibly one of the unknowns is possibly the Tatamo of that we course see in X-Fade X Stella. Ah, that's weird. Well, uh, point is, it's it was just a good freaking map. And speaking of Tamovich and all that stuff, uh, in Japan, Sin, the third Lost Belt came out. Lost Belt Sin. We finally got to figure out who that Sable, the fate, who fate, how, who, who the Lost Belt Sable was. Um, yeah, um, hold on, belt three, here you go, lost belt three. Oh, we also got a new ruler. Oh, speaking of rules, I'll get, well, I'll get, I'll get it out of here. Yeah, it's basically, it's more or less theme around Japan. More or less Japanese one, style one, so we had a Russian one. Uh, why not? It's going in there? I don't know. Um, hold on. Here you go, here you go. Here's the one I was looking for. I'm trying to figure out where Zek was. So we got... We got the girls with the weird ponytails and one of them coming to rise. But we got Yui Mioi, who was, of course, Consort Yu. Or Akatara Hiko Noki, which I have no idea, but I think she's just, she's from a she's from another Type Moon project, so she's a pseudo servant. So that's that's good. Got a pseudo servant. They had oh, they finally gave us Assassin Lishin. We finally got Assassin Assassin Lishin, but he's the old man. So rather than having it young man being Assassin and the old man being Lancer, it's reversed with the Grand Order. So it's fine though. We got her. We got the new Saber, which of course is Leon Wang. It's it's the Lost Belt Saber, the one that was in the advertisement. That's the Saber who is the Servant. Uh, archers. We didn't get any Archers, which of course we got Jean 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 um, John Arc Beach, and then we got Napoleon doing the last one. Uh, we got Quinn Leung for Lancer. Riders, I'm pretty sure this was the Rider Fest. Oh no, this, this is just red hair. Red hair, basically Lubu's horse. Lubu's horse is a servant. I would like you to take a moment and realize that. Lubu's horse is so amazing, it itself constitutes as a servant. So akin to... Um... Uh... Buki Force. I think that's how you spell, pronounce it, Buki Force. And we also got Zion Ying. Zion Ying. And of course, for the ruler, we got the ruler of of the Lair Lost Bout. Shing. Um, anyone remembers um, Assassin? The, the Assassin everyone knows about, the drug one. Jing King? Yeah. The Emperor she tried to assassinate is, the, is a servant. 
So those two are gonna have fun. <laughs> Jane King trying to kill kill him. But yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. As I really haven't been doing much to look at the actual things. But now we come into the fourth thing, the the Christmas stuff for Japan this year. So anyone remember that rider that we got within Babylonia, the South American one? Yeah? Well, she sent it this year. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. She's Santa, and we're also people at the horizon that were possibly getting, getting Garrett, Gareth, uh, Grain's little sister, one of the, her, his sisters, within Fate Grand Order. This is likely going to be a summoning event for him as well, her or So, you know, we just got to wait and see, basically. Um, with that, I think that's it. Again, uh, hold on. Um, community, event list, hold on, event list. Um, there's also a thing coming up. Well, there was a thing for going on right now, I guess. Oh, no, that ended, so. I guess we are just waiting for the Japanese, the uh, Japanese thing. Yeah, Christmas, the Christmas thing. Here we go. Here's, here's the thing. Got Christmas, uh, <laughs> and she's a ruler, so, you know. There's that, and of course we have the Santa stuff, and then... Also, apparently they've been giving, like, servants, like, bond increases, so, you know, that's a good thing as well. Intensifies using certain servants to get more bond, I guess. Uh, but that's basically it. Um... Yeah, Gareth. Gareth... Gareth is possibly being summoned, she's like... I think she's gonna be four-star. Four, three-star, because... Let's be real here, she's not really that powerful, I don't believe. She's not, like, Gal like, if Galahad's, like, a three-star, a two-four-star, then it's likely she's going to be a three-star. Because I don't really know if there's any memorable tale for her to make her a super, like, a super well-known unit. But I think she's likely going to be four-star, because, again, Christmas Banner, they, they've got to do something. Um, and it just, it goes, it starts on the 12th, so two days. So I guess we'll be, we'll know by then, so yeah. Anyways, with that, that's route wraps it up for this fade update. Uh, so Solomon's coming up for us, and in Japan, they're about to get ready for the Christmas. Of course, New Year's come around. Um, New Year's come around, I believe, hold on, I'm gonna look at the events, because after, after New Year's, what's coming after New Year's, I think... I think after New Year's is, um... And of course, we got... Oh, we got the, we get, we got the Edmund Dantes rerun happening in January. We got... We got, um, Artemis rerun as well. And then we got the Japanese, we got the Lucky Bags coming up. Oh, and we got Mas Masamune, um, we got... Four Sword Saber. That's what I'm going to call it. Four Sword Saber. We got her coming up as well. So, King of Son being summonable. We got the Lucky Bag. We got we got uh, New Year's Summoning Event, which is basically all these uh, exclusive ones. Then you got Old Man Hassan being added. It's, it's a lot of stuff. And then, of course, with February, uh, got the Valentine's Event with... with um, the Valentine from last year we run, of course, for Valentine's this year as well. Is that is that much? That's not. That might, oh yeah, I think Valentine this year is being placed with Shelly. I don't know. Point is, we got a bit of what. Okay, I thought. Okay, I was thinking like the good a good event was happening real soon, but no, it's happening in April, from the looks of it. So.
Yeah, Japan. If you if you had, if you want if you're waiting for Edmund to come back or you're waiting for Arnus to come back, now's your chance. They're coming back. They're coming back in their events. Sorry about that. Um, they come back in the events, and you got Lucky Bear coming up. So yeah, I'll likely do a video on, about what I get, but I'm not really ex like. Again, with Tamo in mind, I really have all the servants I'm sort of wanting, aside from King Asan. I want King Asan because he's best grandpa. He's best grandpa, and nobody will ever be able to deny me of this. Because we all know he's best grandpa. Anyways, with that out of the way, thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoy. What did you guys like about Babylonia in particular? If this, if you just like Babylonian in its entirety, or was, was there something special to you about Babylonia? Let me know in your comments below, and with that, have a lucky day!